Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Jane Lewis. Here's Jane Lewis. There also have been some issues with transport as well. But you know, Jackie, I don't really think we'll know whether those issues have been resolved, have been rectified, until the Games get underway. When is that? Well, Friday marks the opening ceremony of the Rio Olympics. And then Saturday, the next day, day one of the action. Plenty of Scottish interest in day one as well, in the swimming, in the rowing and in the tennis. As uh, Jane Lewis can tell us. Well, here at Hamden, the Scotland squad behind me are being put through their paces ahead of tomorrow night's friendly against Portugal. It's not just the rain that they have to contend with, but the Scotland manager, Alex McLeish, has lost four players from his squad for this one. Lowell has also told BBC Scotland that Celtic have not made an approach to Dundee United for striker David Goodwillie. There's plenty at stake for Rangers and Hibs tonight. It's the first leg of their Premiership playoff semi-final. The results could go some way to deciding which team will be consigned to another season in the championship. Let's cross live to Ibrox now. So Scotland's medal tally is growing. The record from 12 years ago has been beaten. It's been a wonderful Wednesday here on the Gold Coast for Team Scotland and there's still four days of competition remaining. I'll be grabbing them as they come out of the water here at the finish line. Now every one of the 3,000 swimmers each have their very own special reasons for swimming here today and we'll be bringing you some of the stories. Welcome along to the Scottish Curling Women's Championships. We've already had a week of action here at the Dewar's Centre in Perth and now we're down to the final two. Well, for one skip, she's eyeing her first ever senior title, but she's up against someone who knows all about winning here. Scotland have 28 medals, just one shy of their highest overseas Commonwealth Games tally. That came in Melbourne 12 years ago. They're edging closer. Jane Lewis, reporting Scotland, Gold Coast. Scottish athletes winning 13 medals out here in Rio. That equals their best ever Olympics as well. So, as the Maracanã warms up for tonight's finale, we'll soon be saying bye-bye to the Olympics in Rio.